13-year-old James Charles Harris is Britain's youngest tycoon. He's here along with his mom, Kay, and says it's always been a challenge, uh, she says, keeping James occupied. We're glad to have you join us. When did you know, James, that you were smarter than most people? Well, I mostly realized um, only a couple of weeks ago when I was on a documentary and they put me with the average child and then I saw the difference and it's actually the first time. When I was in school, it was actually never the same, but I was completely, um, uh, I, I couldn't believe it. You know, um, I really could see what actual people used to say, well, you're different and then I actually realized I was. You started your own, what, entrepreneurial career when you were four? Yes. By doing well, what? Well, my mother and father came from London with, with us and um, we went to a jumble sale and my mother and father were very poor, so they bought clothes. And, um, you know, I was, I was there and then I started picking up pieces of china and uh, put them in my room and it grew and grew and then I got a shop to put them in. So you started, like, instinctively knowing what was valuable in terms of antiques. That's right, yes. You did. Mm -hmm. I heard that on a bag of old spoons that you purchased for less than 50 cents, you profited how much? I can't, well, I get so many things. Um, I think it was about 800 pounds, but um, papers always over-exaggerate. But I've, um, yes, I think it was about that. Yeah, I heard that you had a 2,000 pound profit, which is about 3,500 American dollars. So you spend 50 cents on something, make 3,500. <laughs> I consider that a good deal. Hi, Oprah. Hi, viewers. It's Lauren Harris here, and it's wonderful to be seen in America. And to explain about my life, would be to say that my name is now Lauren and I'm a transgender woman and uh, I've been through, through it all and uh, I'm here to tell the tale. I was struggling with my identity and my gender more towards the age of 18. I didn't know who I was. I felt suddenly trapped in a burning building and I needed a way out. When I became Lauren, it wasn't good. The press were very harsh. We had bricks through the windows. We had death threats. People didn't understand. We had about five, six years of, of transphobia. And it was three weeks in the house, a bit like a fishbowl. Since then, people haven't seen me for my gender, but whom I am. Antiques change with their valuations, and it's a different, a different world. But I, I could easily get back involved with it. But jewelry is more what I'm interested in now. I sing. I sang the first song. I was born a boy, now I'm a girl. I was born a boy, but now I'm a girl. I've done some things that would make your toes curl. If I could go back to the, the before I was on the Oprah show, I'd say, this is my advice to you as a 13-year-old boy now. You are a girl. And it's your choice to do something now or to wait. Because I would have done it when I was 13 if I had the chance.